Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taz. And I'm Captain Willie Dice. Well, Andrew, I had an epiphany. An epiphany. <laughs> You know, human athletes don't reach the highest level of their sport on natural talent alone. And the same goes for sporting dogs that are bred for bird hunting. They have to put in a lot of work to be good at it. Well, that's right, Willie. And recently, members of the Maryland Sporting Dog Association brought together dogs of all breeds for one big training session. The Ralph D. Kellum facility at the Conservation and Recreation Dog Trial area is a mecca for those who love sporting dogs as well as their four-legged owners. Located in proximity to the Norman G. Wilder Wildlife Area near Felton, Delaware, this 150-acre parcel was set aside in 1941 for bird dog field trials. And today, folks from the Maryland Sporting Dog Association are getting together with their dogs, many of which are brand new to field events. What we're doing today is introducing sporting dogs to the field. And what that really involves is letting them come out and see live game and chase it and determine whether or not they have a interest and instinct into pursuing it further. There's a variety of sporting breeds here. Pointers, setters, retrievers of all kinds, spaniels, you name it. Where the Maryland Sporting Dog Association has been around for 30 or 40 years and it's one of the few AKC American Kennel Club organizations that embraces all the entire range of sporting dogs. Most AKC clubs focus on a specific breed. This encompasses all the sporting breeds. And depending upon which discipline of bird hunting the dog is bred for, there are different exercises undertaken on the CNR Center's varied terrain. Different breeds have different hunting styles, if you will. Uh, we're in the spaniel field right now. But these are all novice dogs, so this is the first time they've been in a, in a field environment with live game. Don't this is an Irish Water Spaniel. Yeah. He likes his birds. Does he have any experience with birds? He has very little. However, he is a natural because I took him out into the field one day after an event, and he brought back a dead bird. And the next day he flushed to and I hadn't trained him at all. Some owners are genuinely surprised at how quickly their dog's natural hunting instincts rise to the surface. I saw a light bulb go on. He, uh, you know, he's never been around birds, he's never been out in the field, but, you know, he found that bird in the field and got a good whiff of it and hunted it up. He grabbed it and came trotting out with it, proud as can be, and it's like you could see something click in there, and it's like, Ooh, wait a second, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Today is just perfect for dog training. That overcast sky means the dogs won't get too hot, and they can focus on their lessons. See how that works? Good girl! Good girl! Over here at this pond, novice retrievers are learning some new tricks, and so are their owners. When you're first starting out with a dog, uh, teaching them how to retrieve, they have a natural instinct to be curious, to want to get things, and to please uh, your per their person. The thing that the person needs to do is to make sure that it's fun. Uh, don't, don't be harsh with the dog, don't be uh, short-tempered with the dog, make it fun, this is a good thing, we're learning, and oh, aren't you just so smart for doing, doing whatever you do, and we're gonna work on that and build on that in little baby steps. Have a lot of patience. The pointing breeds are training over here near the Ralph D. Kellum facility. They're just plain fun to watch, and we find it interesting to see that each dog has their own style. They can be bundles of energy and will work the field ferociously to find their quarry, but once they do, they freeze until the handler can flush the bird. Well done. Now watch as Katie takes the field with Lily, her 10-month-old English setter. They'll work in a more methodical fashion to find a bird that's been placed in a remote controlled trap. Once Lily has found the scent, the tail goes up and she alerts the handler. A good bird dog remains practically motionless at this point. Going up. And for a young dog, Lily was practically perfect. The best part is when the bird was released, she did bounce around a little, um, so we need a little work on that, but it was minimal. She's a, still a pretty young pup, so that was a phenomenal run, and we're probably going to call it a day on that. <laughs> we'll call it a day, too. For us, today was an eye-opener. A lot of folks never get a chance to see the work that goes into training a champion bird dog. 
and we have the feeling we'll be meeting some of these youngsters again at a future field trial.